My name is uh, Chris Hopkins and I'm the director of the Forensic Science Graduate Program at UC Davis. I was a special agent with the FBI for 25 years. Uh, in that capacity I worked at the, the FBI laboratory where I was a, a forensic scientist and examined uh, close to 800 cases of violent crimes. The experiments that we conducted demonstrated that uh, the MVAC was very, very successful in collecting trace DNA on all those three uh, venues, uh, from human skin, human skin after an eight minute shower, and off of uh, clothing items. And this is where the MVAC can have a tremendous utility uh, in sexual assault cases or in uh, contact DNA cases on large surface areas such as clothing items or blankets or sheets that are too large to process with the traditional double swab technique. And the MVAC system, I wish I had it when I was investigating crimes because there were uh, many times that we would have pieces of evidence that we couldn't either collect and take back to the laboratory and we were stuck having to try to use a double swab technique in the field knowing that the probability of capturing a foreign DNA profile off that item was very small. Uh, I think the MVAC system, had we had it, would have given us a greater yield or a greater opportunity to capture those foreign DNA profiles that we were looking for. Through the research that we've done and working with the MVAC as much as we've had, I cannot see any limitation or concern from a crime scene perspective or a forensic laboratory perspective they should have. The collection tubes prevent uh, contamination issues. Going into a single filter, again, eliminating contamination issues from other samples. Those are often concerns we have at the collection phase of crime scene investigations and of course in the laboratory. And, and the MVAC is, has those design features and capabilities built in, so it takes those concerns out of play. I can't imagine in today's technology where we are so good at extracting and amplifying trace and touch DNA, we're so good at it now, now the problem is capturing it. And now we have technology that allows us to capture touch DNA and trace DNA off a lot of different surfaces to include human skin. And so once you have it captured through the MVAC system, then you can just put it into your normal extraction and amplification processes and you'll really have a game changer.